Hello everyone, this is Isidore, and in this episode of Greenskin Unit Analysis, I'll be discussing the Greenskin Ranged Cavalry and Ranged Chariots. While their Ranged Cavalry units are not nearly of the same quality as those of other factions, like the Marauders of Chaos or Empire Outriders, the Greenskins make up for this in cost. Their Ranged Cavalry is the cheapest in the game, letting Greenskin players take several squads of specialist harassers without hurting the rest of their force. Goblin Bullfrider Archers have two things working in their favor, speed and numbers. At 60 riders per unit, they're some of the largest cavalry squads in the game, which is especially helpful for ranged cavalry as this increases the size of their barrages. More soldiers means more arrows. They also get vanguard deployment, so the enemy is always left to guess where you may put your wolf rider archers. Meanwhile, their extreme speed helps them outflank the enemy and take shots at their vulnerable rear. Even though Wolf Rider Archers aren't that strong, a sustained barrage delivered into the enemy's unshielded rear can wear down any squad. If that wasn't enough, there are only a few units in the game that can actually catch Wolf Rider Archers, guaranteeing that they'll be a pest for the enemy to deal with all game long. Ideally, anyway. Like other types of ranged cavalry, Wolf Rider Archers get outgunned by enemy ranged infantry, who overwhelm them by sheer weight of fire. They do have the benefit of being able to do drive-bys, since Wolf Rider archers can fire while moving, which with some micro can help them avoid arrows or crossbow bolts. But Gorg help you if the enemy has guns. Wolf Rider archers also use crappy bows, so their armor piercing damage is extremely low, rendering them almost useless against heavily armored units. If you want a unit that can harass the enemy and you're not expecting him to have much in the way of heavily armored units, Wolf Rider Archers are a great and cheap nuisance to throw your enemy's way. However, don't let them get caught by enemy melee units or enemy ranged fire. In either situation, they won't last long. Flying units especially can often outrun the Wolf Riders and rout them with ease. Forest Goblin Spider Rider Archers are a lot more durable than Wolf Rider Archers, and are a lot better in melee thanks to both their higher stats and poisonous attacks, which makes them a lot harder to deal with than Wolf Rider Archers. These guys also get both Vanguard Deployment and Strider, meaning they can deploy in a much wider zone and can move through swamps and trees without slowing down. However, their overall range damage output is actually lower than that of Wolf Rider Archers. This is because their projectile damage is basically the same, but there's fewer archers in the Spider Rider Archer Squad than in the Wolf Rider Archer Squad. To make up for this, Spider Rider Archers have poisoned arrows, which lowers the damage output of whatever squad they hit. This makes Spider Rider Archers a bit more useful as a support unit rather than a harassment unit, as you'll be looking to shoot the enemy in the back while they're engaging your other units to apply that poison debuff and maybe also kill a few soldiers while you're at it. Spider Rider Archers are also a lot slower than Wolf Rider Archers, and while they're still speedy, there's a lot more units that can reliably catch them. However, they do have the benefit that the poison effect slows enemy units too, which means every barrage they fire will let them put more distance between themselves and their targets. Add to that the benefit of Strider, and these guys can be incredibly elusive on forested or swampy maps. If you want a unit that can apply poison wherever needed and do so quickly, Spider Rider Archers are a great choice for that. Unlike Night Goblin Archers, who you could argue are their counterparts when it comes to ranged poison, Spider Rider Archers are a lot harder to catch, which means you don't have to worry as much about keeping them safe as you would with your ranged infantry. The downside is that their overall damage output is a lot worse. Goblin Wolf Chariots are a bit of a jack of all trades unit. They can be used to harass the enemy using their high missile damage to take out enemy soldiers and using their superior speed to get away if something threatens them. However, as chariots, they also have a great charge bonus and an anti-infantry bonus on their weapon damage, which lets them deal heavy damage by crashing into enemy infantry squads, all the while shooting arrows as they move in and out of combat. As such, wolf chariots are pretty versatile, but they're certainly not perfect. While their missile damage is very high and they have a lot of ammunition, there's only 12 effective archers in the squad, two for each chariot. So at range, their killing power is very limited. In melee, they can hit very hard as chariots do, but they are the weakest chariot units in the game. 
so they tend to struggle with pushing through very dense infantry formations, and they sure don't want to get bogged down. And when they do hit, they don't cause as much damage as other chariot types. And, like all chariots, charge-resistant infantry can provide an almost impenetrable wall to their attack. Unlike other chariots, however, wolf chariots are so fast that they can outrun just about any other type of cavalry, which means they are a lot less liable to get intercepted by enemy cavalry than other types of chariot. If you want a versatile, fast, hard-hitting unit in your army, but you don't want to spend a lot of gold, wolf chariots are a good choice, provided that you're willing to micro them. If you don't want to micro them in their repeated charges, don't bother with them, you have better options for units if you want a powerful charge or if you want ranged harassment. Mogrub's mangy marauders are a squad of renown of goblin wolfrider archers. They're a lot more expensive than regular wolfrider archers and in return they gain two things of note. They're immune to psychology and they fire armor piercing projectiles. Being immune to psychology isn't really a noteworthy improvement for a ranged cavalry squad, as that won't save them if they get engaged in melee. But the armor-piercing projectiles make them totally worth their price tag. These guys can cause a lot of damage just by harassing the enemy lines, which unfortunately means the enemy is all the more interested in gunning them down as fast as possible. And unlike regular wolf rider archers, these guys are a tad too expensive to throw away. Be careful with them, because while 600 gold is still comparatively cheap if compared with a lot of other units, losing them is still a lot more punishing than losing a squad of normal Wolfrider archers. The Thief Robbers are a unit of renown of Goblin Wolf Chariots. These guys are a bit less clear cut if they're above over regular chariots or not, but they have a couple of things that make them interesting to the imaginative commander. They have a combination of vanguard deployment and hide in forests, which normal wolf chariots do not have, meaning that on forest heavy maps, you can hide these guys and launch surprise attacks. As an added bonus, the thief robbers also have much higher projectile damage than regular wolf chariots, which is a nice little touch, but you're really picking these guys to use them as an ambush unit, hiding them in a forest and forcing your opponent to guess from where they will strike. The Death Creepers are a unit of renown of Forest Goblin Spider Rider Archers, and they have several improvements over the base unit. Their biggest eye catcher is that they have regeneration, which means they constantly regenerate health. This makes them incredibly hard to take out, since small amounts of damage they'll simply heal away, which means these guys actually have a chance at beating enemy range squads at their own gain. As with a bit of microing, you can dodge as much fire as you can and regenerate away the rest of the damage that you take. They also have Stalk, making it even harder for the enemy to anticipate where these guys will strike, since they will hide in any terrain type and can't be seen until spotted. Lastly, and this is a little harder to spot, but their reload speed is a lot higher than that of regular Spider Rider Archers, which means their overall damage output is greater. This is excellent, though it does have the slight drawback that they'll run out of ammo sooner. If you're only planning on taking a single squad of Spider Rider Archers to apply poison with, these guys are a great choice, as their combination of regeneration, stalk, and high movement speed make them a tremendous nuisance for the enemy to deal with. That's it for the Greenskin Ranged Cavalry. If you liked this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to support me in making more content, please visit my Patreon. You can find a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you all in my next video.